For this video, what we're going to be doing is what's called composite functions. So basically, we're going to take two functions and we're going to bring them together, we're just mush them together. So if you would, uh, pause the video and see if you can try to do these on your own. All right, if you notice, this is not f times g, this is fog, and this is goof. Uh, fog is f of g, that's what this means, this little, when you see a little circle, and you, it's probably hard to see on the video, but if it's an open circle, that means it's a composite function. And it's not multiplication, you're not multiplying the function of f times the function of g. You're not doing that. What you're doing is it's of a function. So let's look at um, part a. Another way to write fog is this way. This is the outside and this is the inside function. So you have f of g of x. So you want to start with the outside first and then put in the inside. Or what you can do, let's do it this way. Let's first replace the inside. So you have g of x. What's your g of x? Yeah, it's this right here, x squared minus 2. Then you have your outside. This is like saying f of x. So where you ever seen x, you're going to replace it with x squared minus 2. So start with the outside. You have 2, and then you're replacing this x with this whole thing, x squared minus 2. And then you have plus 1. See that? Notice that wherever I place the x, I have the x squared minus 2. And then everything else pretty much just, just stays the same thing. What you want to do now is you want to simplify. You want to simplify it. So you would distribute the 2. So that would be 2x squared minus 4 plus 1. Can I simplify further? Yes, because they are there's like terms. What's negative 4 plus 1? Yeah, it's 3. So you have x, 2x squared minus 3. Sorry, that 3 looks kind of weird. And that would be my fog. f of g of x. All right, now let's find goof. Goof is going to be slightly more complicated. So let me write it on the side right here. And also, let me just, to save some room, I'm just going to put it over here. So you have goof. Goof is g of f of x. So replace the f of x with your function, which is g of 2x plus 1. Now g, remember this is not a variable. This is a function. So your g of x is x squared minus 2. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it with this whole thing, the 2x plus 1. So then I have 2x plus 1 squared minus 2. I'm going to use a shortcut. That shortcut is what's called a perfect square. This is raised to the square power. If you want, you can always expand this and then FOIL, you're going to get the same exact thing. So this will be 4x squared. And I'll tell you the shortcut now. You take this, you square it. Your middle term is going to be this times this times 2. So 
1 times 2x is 2x times 2 gives you 4x. So plus 4x. And then your last term is going to be this 1 squared. And 1 squared is 1 minus 2. Now just simplify the rest. So the rest is 4x squared plus 4x minus 1. And that's pretty much it. So for fog, you get 2x squared minus 3. And then for goof, or goofy if you prefer, it would be 4x squared plus 4x minus 1. And that's it. Just don't make this more complicated as it is. Just think substitution. Just start with the inside, replace the g of x or the f of x, wherever the inside function is. Replace that with the actual function that it tells you that it is. And then all you're going to have to do is substitute. So wherever you see an x, replace it with whatever that inside function is. And that's pretty much